covering the first uh, rehearsals for the semi-finals, and we also have uh, Martin Rolinski up there uh, with an exclusive camera that nobody has, uh, no, no journalists. Yeah, no, but no journalists are allowed to be in there. Except for Martin Rolinski. Except for Martin Rolinski. So uh, could we, I don't know if we could hand it over to Martin. It's going to be a little live think, feeling. Oh, As you can yeah, see, it's very we're, live. Kind of looking, we're kind of looking for him. <laughs> he doesn't know where. He doesn't really know. No. And this is kind of not exclusive because this, this is standing in the the, um, the press no, center. The, yeah, no, this is the this is the confession booth over there. So this is the artist lounge. Wow, the artist, this is lounge. artist lounge. Martin, hit it. Take it away. Martin. Hi guys. So now we're done fooling around. Now the serious business starts. Here we have the first full rehearsal with the whole with the whole semi-final show, and you kind of start feeling the tension around here. People are walking between quite intensely, which we're kind of not permitted to show you for obvious reasons. But I, I was thinking maybe we should have a quick tour, just showing you what's going around here. So if you me, let's let's start from the bottom, so to speak. Here you have some of the press and some of the delegations watching everything, watching the screens that you can see. Here you have the dressing rooms. You can see it, it says dressing room number 19. We don't know what country it is for safety reasons. Here's maybe the most important room of them all. This is where they take a crap. This is where they also can take a crap, but let's move on because I don't think you're interested in that quite honestly. So, uh, here's a quite calm corridor right now because a lot of people are in their dressing rooms getting ready, uh, singing a lot. So if you hear some songs, it's people just warming up vocally. Let's go into where it happened. So here. Here we have some of the makeup girls. We have Corinne over here. Hello. Hi, Corinne. Hi. Could you tell me what, what are you guys doing right now? Right now we're actually waiting. Everybody's late, so I have to look for How their... unprofessional. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a problem for us. So I have to look up, get some information where, how we're going to deal with the schedule. Do you know how many artists are you going to, to put the makeup on? I think it's totally for this week. I think it's around 600 persons totally with the dancers and vocals. And okay. It's quite many. Is this your first Eurovision? Yeah, it's the first Eurovision. We've been doing the Melody Festival for quite many years, but this is this is big. Okay, so we're not going to show you when artists get their make get their makeup on because it's not that polite. So we'll move on and see how yeah. the hair is going. On. Okay, see, you, see you later. See you. Bye. That was the makeup, but you can't just perform with good hair. You need to have a really decent. Uh, with, you can't perform with your makeup on. You also have to have a good hair. So let's go and see if we can find some a hair. So let's do just do a quick glance. This is the hair room. This is where they put on their hair. breeze before the storm right now so I think we'll be coming back in just a few minutes if we can find someone we can do an interview with and see if they're excited or not okay see you soon guys